Hey guys, happy Friday, Big John with J Custom Builds. <clears throat> so today I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bleed the uh, brakes on my brother-in-law's 2013 soft tail. So here's what I got going on today. So I'm in my shorts today and my uh, whatever you call these things. I'm just kind of chillaxing today. Just didn't feel like uh, really getting dressed. So I'm just out here in my shorts, my clogs, I believe that's what they're called, and my t-shirt. And I'm gonna bleed the brakes on this guy right here. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that over. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sucking all the bad stuff out of there. And I believe it's coming out. All the ugly stuff's coming out. So I'm going to put that right there. And... I'm going to start filling it up with this dot four that I have right here. Yeah, that looks, that looks really horrible. So I'm gonna add fluid to it. As I'm sucking this old stuff out. You can see this thing's filling up with some pretty ugly stuff. So you wanna keep doing this until you get all the the bubbles out, but I want to get all that old fluid out of there. Let me see if I can open it up a little bit more. So you want to keep on filling this up, right? Until the fluid is super clean. I believe I got another one of these bottles. And now you're starting to see it coming out really, really clean. Still has a ton of bubbles in it though. You can see how that's filling up with some pretty, pretty nasty looking stuff. So here's all the pretty stuff coming out now. Put a little more in there because it's starting to get low. I'm trying to get as much pressure as I can in there. Open up little by little. You know, it's kind of hard because the exhaust is actually in the way of me being able to bring this down even more. Let me let me empty this. You can see how that's pretty nasty, right? Let me get rid of this. All right. Let's seal this back up. our hands and try this again I mean this is I want to get a better system for this thing I mean this is okay but it still has a shitload of bubbles man you know why hang on guys do something really quick all right guys so i got everything done today i got the rear brake bled and the master cylinders topped off i'm sorry that i didn't record it i had some issues because of the abs um i just kept getting air in the lines air in the lines and air in the lines and i couldn't figure out what it was and i didn't have this these and everything were tightened up but i didn't have the uh the uh, banjo bolts tight and so it was a little bit loose and I realized it when I shook this cable and then I thought I wonder if that's what's going on with the front and that's exactly what it was the front one was loose too and I saw some dripping when I tightened it up and rebled them <coughs> excuse me everything worked out perfect so bikes on the ground oh man I put the keys away already I wanted to show you guys the headlights and everything but I got the headlights and everything I mean everything's working Everything's working, and I'm going to take this girl out for a ride. 
and see how she feels, see how she operates and how everything works out. So uh, you guys have a good night and I will see you guys tomorrow. So it's a Saturday the 22nd, I believe. And uh, me and my brother Harold, I haven't ridden this. The last day I rode this was on May 17th. And my brother and I, he just got back from Hawaii for, from his vacation and we're gonna, we're gonna go for a little spin, so. I'm not gonna record it because I don't have time to get my uh, camera equipment and everything together. It's been so long, but uh, we're just, we're gonna go enjoy a ride. Hey guys, Big John with J Custom Builds. I hope the fan's not uh, hitting the phone and making it sound horrible. Man, it's hot today. It's gonna be 80 degrees. It's probably 80 now. There's a breeze coming through here. I got that fan going, but it's still hot in here. So, I believe I got Jesse's bike ready to actually go for a ride. And uh, I'm actually gonna take it just around here just to see how it feels, uh, see how the clutch feels, how the brakes feel, front brakes, back brakes, how the handlebars feel, how the front forks feel, how the new wheels feel. I'm just gonna get a little vibe for how it's running. And then I'm gonna take it out, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 minutes, 30 minutes every day just to make sure it's ready to deliver to my brother on the 29th. So that's uh, that bike's pretty much done. I'm just waiting for a couple of parts to get here for the linkage and the sh gear shift linkage bracket. And it holds actually the um, clutch pedal and lever. And so I ordered all that stuff new for him and it should all be here. And the brackets for the saddlebag should be here. Everything should be here by Tuesday or Wednesday. So moving on from that, I actually had to take all this stuff apart because I got a whistle coming out of the breather. I'm gonna check that today. And then I'm gonna take it to to uh, Metal Dragon, my old boss over at gym, to find out what's going on with the vibration in the front. It's real slight. I mean, you could barely feel it, but like I told you guys, I'm super anal and I can feel it. So I don't like how that feels. This bike's beautiful. It's ready to go other than that. And remember how the, um, the uh, brake pedal was kind of vibrating on the last video I had that I done back here and that saddle bag. So I put new clips and uh, everything inside the uh, bags to hold the bags down. Here, let me show you guys. So I put the new uh, turnstile, these guys in here, and I put the new clips on the back, adjusted everything here. So the bag is super tight now. Um, get this thing locked. There we go. And you can see how the bag is just uh, super tight now. I'm going to do the same thing over here because, oh, this one's, oh no, there's no, actually no clip back there. I didn't have the pin. So the pins were uh, really bad and broken. And so I ordered some and I ordered some extra ones like this style. And I'm just going to put this style back here because that has the old style. So I'm doing that, just tidying things up. And the brake pedal had a little looseness to it going this way. It was vibrating and I didn't like that. So I had to take everything off here, loosen it up. I had to take the cover off to the exhaust. And now I'm trying to take that pin, that little cotter pin that actually holds the, the actual lever to the back of the master cylinder. So that's what I'm doing right now. There's a little cotter pin on that pin back there, cotter pins on the other side over here. And so I had to loosen everything up to take it out. And I believe there's some uh, some O-rings that go in here somewhere, I believe. And I was wondering why that pedal's just kind of loose. I don't remember how it was when I took it all apart. So that's what I'm working on today. And my cousin's actually gonna pick that up this Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. So I'm gonna have to move all of this, everything you see on this side, I'm gonna have to move everything, the dryer, the shelving, and everything just on that side so that I can get this truck out. And then the wheels that I have on there, they're, they're probably like six or seven years old and you can see how the wheels broke. So I got some new wheels and the hood and the fender are back in the back of the shop. 
And so all this will be cleared out this weekend. And uh, my wife can have her backyard now because she wants to have my wife. Cleaning She's cleaning opales again. And uh, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, for dinner. yeah, we're going to have nopales and meat for dinner. So, um, she's back here just doing her thing and I'm actually in here with my puppies. There's beautiful Leo. Hi, boys. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. And then here's Loki, his little brother, his little brother. And yeah, so all that's going to be gone. I'm going to start the road glide today. Man, I don't know. All this stuff's got to be cleaned up. You could just see this poor bike's been sitting here. The last time I rode it was, shit, I believe it was like August of, this August will be two years. Can you believe that? And so I'm having knee surgery uh, next month on the 26th, a full knee replacement. So I'm trying to get all this stuff done. I'm trying to get this bike right here given away before then. And I'm hoping to have two giveaways and this beautiful girl right here. She has been sitting for months now, months, 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 months. I tried to start it and uh, she wouldn't even start. The battery is completely dead. So I actually put it on the tender, which is right there. And so I gave the Riviera to my cousin. We did a swap and giving him the Riviera and he's getting that engine right there. The Riviera belonged to my older brother, Tony, him and, uh, Albert AJ were extremely close and, uh, he's going to paint that truck for me. And, uh, he's going to do an amazing paint job. He's got a great painter and body guy. And so going back to that, I'm looking to give Sapphire and Wolf away. Hopefully soon, soon, soon going. I mean, I'll be on my feet and I'll still be doing, you know, commercials and advertising and everything, but I won't be able to be doing stuff like that until my knee's better. Probably I won't be even attempting to lift anything heavy till like maybe the beginning of next year, 2025. But anyways, that's what I'm working on today. And so I'm going to uh, get that brake pedal nice and tight, just like I fixed the saddlebag there. And uh, there's so much to do on these bikes, man, that I realize that when you're working on one item, you need to just really get that completed because there's, I have a tendency of, you know, putting stuff off because I'm going to be replacing something else that is actually linked or connected to that. And so I don't tighten everything up until the end. So, you know, it's, it's kind of hard because sometimes when you're building a bike like this, you have to go over a double and triple check on everything because when you finally get on that and test ride it, you better make sure that the brakes are tight, the calipers are tight, the rims are tight, they're torqued, they're adjusted, all the accessories that you put on, make sure the exhaust is tight, make sure it's not leaking, you got new bushings in there, make sure if you remove pedals or anything like that, you make sure you put the washers the way they were, the O-rings the way they were, and the same thing with the front. Make sure those calipers, if you worked on them, make sure they're not leaking. Make sure they're sealed. Make sure all the lines, you replace the lines. Make sure that all the lines are correct. Make sure that all the wiring is plugged in correctly. There is a lot to building these bikes, man. And if you're not confident in what you do, uh, I would just advise you, if it's simple little things, here and there, that's fine. But if you're gonna be working with wiring and you're gonna be working with oils and fluids and engines and tires and wheels and bearings, and this bike has everything new on it. So, and so does that one over there, Sapphire. So if you're gonna be doing stuff like this, man, double and triple check your work. Make sure your spark plugs are gapped. I've been being told over, I was selling spark plugs at Harley and I had to open a couple of packages and double check that they were because they say that they're pre-gapped at 40. Well, not all of them were. So always double check stuff before you put it on. Look at the wires on the inside. Make sure the pins are, are good on the inside. Make sure they're not damaged. Make sure that when you put the spark plugs on that that little tip that you tighten that tip, the little tip that plugs into the, that the wire uh, snaps onto, make sure that tip is tight because they come loose. That will affect your, your, your connection. And so there's a lot. 
there's a lot involved with these bikes. You know, I doubled and triple checked everything on that. I rechecked all the torque on everything to do with the forks, the fenders, the calipers, the brakes, the lines, everything, the handlebars, the headlights, just the, the light bar, just everything, the tank. I took, removed everything off of there. Make sure if you disconnect something to put it back in. I did a lot on that bike and I had to double and triple check all my work over and over again. And so, you know, it's all about being safe, man. You know, you're going for rides, whether it's a short ride or a long ride, you don't want to be a long ride. You don't want to be on a long ride and then something end up going wrong or something's loose. You know, you end up getting in an accident. You know, I can't live with that. You know, that just, I wouldn't be able to live with that. So that's why it's, it's really important. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. That's what I'm up to on Sunday, the, I don't know, it's 22nd or 23rd today. And, uh, I talked to my cousin earlier. He's going to pick that guy up. So I'm just trying to get all these bikes, you know, everything completed on them. Sapphire, nothing needs to be done on that bike machine. It needs to just be washed and detailed. I need to cruise her around every day too. I'm going to try to take one of these bikes out every day for at least 30 to minutes to 45 minutes to an hour just so that I can, you know, make sure that they're absolutely, you know, perfect before they end up getting given away, delivered, or whatever I have going on with them. So the only thing left on this is the brake pedal and the real tiny vibration on the front wheel. So I'm gonna get that pedal done today so that I can take this to the shop sometime this week and have Jim go through the whole bike, find out the vibrate, ride it, see what he feels, what's going on. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and have him fix it. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a really good Sunday and uh enjoying the your sum, summer started what a couple couple of days ago i think wednesday was the first day of summer it was the longest day of the year and so now we're losing like a minute until i think late december is when the uh, winter solstice i believe that's how you say it is and then after winter solstice we'll start gaining another minute until i think late june so anyways you guys have a great weekend i hope you guys had a great weekend and if you're out and about today, always remember to ride safe, love on your family, take care in everything you do, and God bless. We really appreciate you guys. Thanks.